Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing. This is all the stuff I got in the post office box in the month of April 2022. And quite a bit of stuff, as you can see here. So, I do this every month. Um, if I get something in the P.O. box, I will open it. Uh, in a video like this to show my appreciation to people who send stuff to me and to the channel. Uh, it's really cool, very much appreciated, uh, and I like to thank everyone publicly, so thanks to all these people. And if you would like to send something uh, to be opened in a video like this, I will put the address of the post office box on the screen right now. That's where you will send it, and I will get it, and if I get anything, I will open it up. If I don't get anything, well, then I won't. Um, but um, again, as, to, as a way of showing my gratitude, I will open anything that you send in a video like this. I got quite a lot of stuff this time, quite a lot. And uh, one of you Weisenheimers sent uh, this from Smell My Thongs. So, uh, very funny, and whoever sent this, you probably thought I wouldn't open this in the video, but I will, I will, and, and if the thongs in here don't fit, I will feel ripped off. So, yes, I'm going to open this, but I'm going to do that last. First, first, I have letters, I have letters, so I'm going to open these letters first, um, and, oh, um, normally... I open everything before I start recording, uh, but I don't look inside the packages just because I don't want to have to cut up everything while I'm on camera, but I did not open the letters. So I'm going to uh, pause for a second, open these letters. Also, I like to read the letters first before I say what's in them because sometimes people do put very personal things in their letters. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. I have not one but two letters from Gary in the UK. I did read through the first one, and uh, it, nothing too personal in here. Uh, it's kind of long, so I will summarize it for you guys. Um, he says he's been enjoying the classified reviews on Friday. Thank you very much. Uh, and that he would like to see a classified airtight, because airtight and barbecue are kind of a, 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 a double act for G.I. Joe. And, uh, yeah, I, I could kind of dig a... Uh, classified airtight. I think that would uh, that would be a great figure. Lots of potential with that one, and lots of color, lots of yellow <laughs> with that one. Um, and uh, he says he liked the um, vintage Buzzer and Ripper reviews, but apparently the torch was not not available for sale in the UK. That's interesting. I did not know that. Um, he goes on to talk about um, a couple uh, British. We're having a thunderstorm here. You may be able to hear that. I can hear it. Um, some um, British war comic books um, and uh, makes a couple recommendations for a couple comics if I'd like to see um, like um, the uh, kind of the equivalent of Sergeant Rock for DC in the United States kind of the, the British equivalent of that uh, make some recommendations which is really interesting um, yeah I would um, I, I will see if I can look those up apparently uh, somebody's got the, the rights for them, and oh, there's a website right here. That's very helpful. Um, so, uh, yes, thank you very much for this, Gary. Uh, thanks for this letter. Um, as always, I keep every single one of these letters that I get. I have a special um, folder that I keep them in. I will keep them forever. Uh, it's very much appreciated. But you wrote a second letter, so I'm going to open that now and see what's in there. Thank you again for the second letter, Gary. Uh, again, I will summarize it. It's a little bit long, uh, but really cool stuff in here. Uh, he talks about, well, first of all, um, I opened some uh, minifigures that he sent me. Um, I opened them on a live stream, uh, and so he saw that. Um, and that was the one, I don't know if he saw it, but that's the one with the very, uh, shall we say, interesting Destro. A lot of those figures were pretty good, um, but that Destro was something else. Um, also, he thought they were die-cast figures. They turned out to be plastic, um, and I, I think that's interesting as well. I think they would have worked well as die-cast figures because then they wouldn't have gotten all bent up in the packaging. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, and thank you for that, Gary. Uh, talks a bit about um, a... No, you know, G.I. Joe has Tiger Force, um, and there was a Vietnam-era Tiger Force that uh, did, did not... Um, 
did bad things, bad things. But there was also, he uh, has some research here on a World War II era Tiger Force uh, with some information about that um, and some just some cultural information about uh, Germany and Japan uh, and the United States following World War II uh, and his interest in, interest in World War II literature. Well, that's that is a rich area of interest. There's so much there um, to uh, to dive into. So um, so thank you for that. Uh, thank you for this. Your insight is always welcome. It's very appreciated. And uh, but thanks for taking the time to write. It's really cool. Uh, so thanks very much, Gary. And I hope to hear for more from you in the future. Next, I'm going to open this. This is a card. Uh, this is a card, and I'm opening the opening this one next because it is from our old friend. Uh, Brandon Knight. So thank you, Brandon. And uh, I don't think I need to pause this. Uh, it's short enough that I can just scan through it real quick just to make sure, again, that there's nothing too personal. I don't want to give everybody your personal information. Um, but at a quick glance... Now, there's nothing new personal here, and this is actually short enough. I think I can just read it to you. It says, Dear HCC788, Hello. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, keep up the good work with the toy and comic reviews. It's amazing that G.I. Joe keeps trying to make new toys for a new generation and collectors. Will you get the new retro O-ring figures or the Sunbow Slash cartoon style O-ring figures? Maybe. It depends on how my budget goes. But I, I, I'd like to get them. I'm very curious about them. Uh, the Cobra Commander and Duke figures look amazing. They do. I, th that's why I want to take a look at them. Uh, maybe you can make a toy hunt, um, uh, make a toy hunt video. Uh, the Adventures of HTC 788 and the Hard to Find G.I. Joe Toys. That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, I do go out and go toy hunting from time to time, so I, I, I absolutely could make a video out of that. In the summer, could you do a review of the Cobra Commander and Duke from Valor vs. Venom? Uh, it would be cool to hear your thoughts on how G.I. Joe uh, tried to relaunch in the early 2000s with new toys and CG movies. That is a really interesting era and an often forgotten era um uh, would i i don't know i want to make sure that i can do that justice um and since that is an era that i'm not as familiar with it would definitely take more research it would it would be a lot of work so i need to make sure that i have the time and i'm prepared to do that before i dive in uh can't wait to see your review of the core toys and maybe other companies that made gi joe like toys always remember that gi Joe is only G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe, you're Joe pal, Brandon Knight. Thank you very much, Brandon, and thank you again for all your support for so long. It's very much appreciated, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Okay, this one is from N... I'm sorry, M. Janak. Uh, and it's in an envelope, but... Oh, there is a letter in it, so let's open this and set this somewhere where it will be safe. There is something in here which i will need my knife which i don't have on me oh i do never mind uh to open it uh but there is a letter as with the other letters i will read through this very quickly make sure everything is cool okay this is uh, there's not too much personal information here um i will omit uh a, a little bit at the end just because i'm not sure if you want that read on the air or not i don't know if you want your name or user name on the air uh but i will say thank you to matt uh that's awesome thank you very much it says dear hooded cobra commander hello from texas hello texas from the united states the only state that matters to texans uh, I have enjoyed your channel from uh, for the last couple years while working from home. You validate my memories from childhood that the toys I used to play with actually existed. It's funny how you know, memory is, and you know you're not sure that the things that uh, you remember from childhood were actually as you remember them. Uh, my question is: uh, Do you ever display custom GI Joes? By that. Re uh, I referenced the life-altering ability discovered in 1990 at 10 when I found a screwdriver and made even better looking figures. Uh, I used to even buy specific ones just for uh, a head or a pair of legs. Yes, uh, first of all, I, I, do, I have gotten some customs, some really nice custom figures and vehicles that other people have sent to me. People are way better at customizing than I have ever been. But as a kid, absolutely, I did uh, this exact same thing. Uh, this is something that uh, my friends and I discovered 
we would uh, we bought like little screwdrivers, you know, at the variety store, and um, we take the screws out, you know, initially just to replace the O rings. Yeah, we would we would get small rubber bands and just wrap them around enough times that it would be tight enough because we didn't know where to get actual O rings. So we replaced them with rubber bands, but then eventually we had the idea, you know, we don't have to put them back exactly the way they were. We can swap the parts around. Uh, and I would say um, uh, customizing figures kept us playing with G.I. Joe for maybe about a year longer than it would have otherwise. Uh, we probably would have moved on maybe a year before, but that uh, customizing the figures added uh, another dimension to it that we, we enjoyed for a while. Yes, um, enclosed is an AK-47. That's got to be what this is. Uh, I've had for 30 plus years. Hopefully you can get more use uh, than me uh, having it sit in a box. Uh, yes, you can use my... Oh, it says, yes, I can, you, I, I can use your name. I missed that part. Uh, Matt Janak, uh, Mr. Poor Scratch. Uh, I don't think I pronounced that ra right, but I'll say Matt, U.S. Army veteran. Thank you for your service, and thank you for this letter. Uh, and thank, thank you for this. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to carefully cut the tape and oh, there we go uh wait i wanna oh there we go i got it i got it i got it i knew i'd figure it out there we go there we go let's see now i think yes yes this look at that that is a cobra officers ak-47 very, very nice. Thank you, Matt. Um, I probably have a Cobra officer that could use this. So uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you for the letter. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you continue to enjoy the show and I'm happy you're here. Okay, I set the letters and the accessory aside so I don't lose them. Now I will start on these packages. You last. Um, okay, so this one just because it's on top. Um, this is from Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I did cut it open and I'm looking inside now. Uh, and I, oh, I have a t-shirt. All right, just making sure I didn't leave anything in the packet. I've done that before. I've accidentally left stuff in the, the package uh, and I didn't realize it was in there. So now I always check. Uh, so Jamie sends an awesome shirt with my favorite G.I. Joe character Stalker. That is so cool. The red also amazing. Uh, this is awesome. So thank you very much for this, Jamie. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to fold it, carefully fold it, neatly fold it. I'm going to set it over there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to wear this soon. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I I have a thing for t for t-shirts. I do like t-shirts. Um, and it's very kind of you to think of me. So thank you very much, Jamie. I will now move on to... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this big one. Um, this big one is from uh, John. I, I never know if people want me to use their full name or not. So I'm just going to say, John, thank you for this, John. Uh, I did cut it open, uh, but I have not seen what's inside. Uh, another thing I try to do is, like, I try to cover up your return address so your return address does not get on screen um oh there's a letter inside there's a letter inside uh so let's look at this real quick it is a typed letter it's a good thing i have my glasses uh let's see um quick read uh, just to make sure that you know there's nothing too personal in here Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Nothing too personal. Um, I believe uh, since you said you wanted a shout out in here, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm going to read through this really quickly. It says, me and my son uh, were going through the garage and found my old GI Joes. Some are in decent condition, some are not. I seem to remember a lot of newer ones I got secondhand and weren't in good shape when I got them. So many of the early 80s ones are in better shape than the later ones. They have been hauled around from place to place in box... Um, in old boxes for 30 plus years and really weren't taken care of properly so me and my son decided to send them off so they could be uh get back into the community and be better taken care of that's awesome that's a really cool idea 
Uh, we love to channel and reliving old uh, figures and vehicles and have started a, a classified collection recently. Congratulations. Good luck with that. That's awesome. Uh, hopefully we, uh, you can help these toys find a good home and maybe they can help your project too. They deserve better than being stuck in old boxes rotting away in the garage. I, I understand that. I feel the same way. I have too many uh, figures and vehicles that are living in boxes right now and I want them out to breathe. I, yeah, I understand. Uh, my son, uh, Mason Davis, uh, Mason Davis is 10, autistic, uh, and left a package in here for your daughter, too. If you could get a shout-out on a video, that would be great. Mason, you're awesome. Thank you for this, and uh, Audrey, I'm sure, will love it. Uh, and, and thank you both for, to both you and your dad for this. Uh, he thinks I've spent... Uh, too much on classified figures, but he is a big fan of Cobra Commander 2 and plays with them when he doesn't think I'm looking. Well, um, maybe I shouldn't have read that part because now he knows you're looking. Uh, but uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Mason, and uh, thank you, John. And now let's, let's see what's in here. Let me set this aside. I do not want to lose that. I have this handy in case I need to cut something. We have bubble wrap. Always can use bubble wrap. Um... I see some cool stuff in here already. Uh, yes, we have some classics. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no, I, um, okay, there's quite a lot in here, and I'm, I'm going to go through it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this box on the floor. Ah, there we go. So that I can properly show off what's in here. Um, and see, there's a Firefly. Uh, just popped an o-ring i can fix that um got his backpack that's lovely um these there's a stalker that is a yes with his submachine gun uh you know stalker is my favorite just needs a new o-ring can do absolutely can do that uh and there's a snake eyes see this is the the these are not these are not bad these are not irreparably broken and maybe after i finish this video um i'll just have a little bit of fun replacing o-rings there's tomax and zamot um yes both of them both of them I have to check uh because they're just slightly different um there's airborne another one of my faves from 1983 and speaking of 1983 there's wild bill um these are really in pretty good shape there's a there's a frostbite and my favorite Cobra army builder, the Cobra bat, uh, not Cobra bat, the um, uh, the Cobra eel. Uh, for some reason, I just like Cobra eels. I just I just think they're cool. There is a Scarlet, a swivel arm Scarlet, and there's an airtight. We were just talking about airtight earlier. There's airtight. There's blowtorch, a figure that I have not reviewed yet, but I need to. Uh, there's a uh, a tripwire tripwire. Um, there is ah mud and junkyard mud and junkyard. Um, this this is a great era. There's a snake eyes and timber snake eyes and timber and timber looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, he's got all his feet. That's excellent. Um, here are a couple recondos. Uh, with accessories. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. A couple Recondos. Uh, we've got uh, our old friend and nemesis, Destro. Um, and this is just like a trip down memory lane here. This I love this. Um, because I've reviewed already a lot of the 1984 and 83 guys, uh, I don't really get to take them out and look at them all that much. And this is... This is just so nice to be able to see them, and right there you've got you've got Flash, uh, you've got a straight arm 1982 Flash. Uh, so, well, that that was awesome. Uh, I will now uh, open the next bag. I want to keep these together. I don't want to lose anything. Uh, they're they're nicely packaged, uh, neatly put together um, with all their stuff. So that's great. These are nice and well organized, and I'm going to keep them that way. Um, and in here, oh, we have quite the variety. Um, we have some accessories. 
Um, yeah, some accessory pack stuff. Um, I actually, I had thought of doing, oh, and some, some original stuff too. I had thought of doing um, a review of the accessory packs, and um, believe it or not, I've been trying to complete the accessory packs, but there's, there's actually, like, that's an original Destro pistol. Um, that is an original uh, Alpine submachine gun. Um, and there, and there's a there's a Star Wars laser rifle in here too, so that that'll get some use as well. Uh, so what do we got? What do we got? We've got um, uh, the sea slug and um, lift ticket. Lift ticket being the only Joe from Oklahoma. He's from Lawton. Uh, when I reviewed that figure, I thought about like, hey, why don't I review the figure from Lawton? drive out there and then i looked on a map and i'm like eh, i don't really want to drive that far um that's the ferret from iron grenadiers um the last figure i ever purchased in the vintage era was rock and roll version 2. we've got skid mark but we don't hold that against him <laughs> uh skid mark um we've got uh psych out and uh, and uh, and iceberg who's who's seen better days a battle worn iceberg nothing wrong with that uh, he he's just seen a lot of action we've got maverick from battle force 2000 we have uh, this dude oh what is um, this is the pilot of the condor and i am blanking on that guy's code name i feel bad i should i should have all this memorized right there's monkey wrench uh, and there is uh, Quick Kick. There is uh, there's a Televiper. There is uh, that's Naga Hide again. You know, battle worn, battle worn, but that's okay. Uh, there is there's a Beachhead. Uh, it doesn't look like he has his waist piece, but that's okay. Beachhead is rather notorious for having broken waist pieces. Um, and there is Stalker version 2, the Tundra Ranger. Oh, uh, there's Mindbender. There's my. I'm so tempted to shoot a missile at him, but there's Dr. Mindbender. Uh, here we have, oh, hey, it's a hooded Cobra Commander. A hooded Cobra Commander. So somebody sent off for the mail away Cobra Commander, and there is, that is uh, Thunder. The driver of the slugger and looks like this is the last one and it's a good one it's a classic it is flint flint uh, another really awesome bag and there's so much more in here i gotta roll through this or i'm not gonna get through them all what, what am i talking about i'm gonna get through them all i can do this video for as long as i want and i dropped one um but i want to i want to show respect for the stuff that you sent i want to make sure that i take the time needed to properly show it and oh this okay this is the stuff for Audrey um, and I can tell already she is going to love this stuff so th thanks for this I'm gonna set this aside I'm gonna let her open that that's a that's a cool little baroness there I'm gonna set that aside I, she's not here right now she's in school because she's a child but she'll be back and I'll show that to her ah file cards file cards and catalogs these cat i do like these catalogs uh there's a lot of great information in these catalogs and um flag points and um yeah yeah yes yes uh you've got the destro with the variant with the cobra symbol tomax and zaymont um wild bill oh we got some more flag points i don't want to lose flag points um, tripwire, a lot of the cards for the guys that you sent. Frostbite, um, Cobra Eels, and and Copperhead. So this is awesome. As you may have noticed, uh, I do like to include the file card with my reviews. Oh, there's a vehicle. There is a snow cat. Um, needs to be cleaned and reassembled, but I'll do that. Uh, I'm a fan of the snow cat. Uh, and the the ski missiles are in there. Uh, oh, I, I, okay. And 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 the often missing windshield wiper. Um, I want to keep this together, so I'm not going to pull it out of the plastic right now. 
I want to keep it together so that I can reassemble it. Looks like the missiles are in there. Nice, nice. Uh, that's awesome. Let me slide this for a second. Oh, look at this. This is here's a non-Joe thing. We've got the Silver Surfer. Um, I th I never had any of these, but I kind of dig them. There's the Silver Surfer um, with his surfboard. Yeah, no, dig it. Dig it. Yeah, now let's see. His feet go in like, like how? Like like this? Yeah, like this. So now, yeah, check that out. Silver Surfer. I'm, I'm keep. I'm Silver Surfer is gonna hang out here with me. He's. We're just Silver Surfer and I are gonna be pals. Uh, we've got a Cobra Snake armor. Cobra Snake armor. Lots of pieces. I want to keep that in the plastic because that will go everywhere. Um, and. Yes, we have the jump jetpack with the little laser gun, the often missing laser gun, and the pack itself. Awesome. Um, I, I am partial to the jump jetpack because I did have it at the time. We have a Buddha. Hey, that's cool. Um, search for the soul, stolen idol, classic G.I. Joe. So this is like 70s adventure team stuff. Um, and this is new for me because I've not had... 70s vintage um, adventure team stuff. Um, this, I know what this is. These are missiles for what is right down in here that I want to get out without damaging it. The gorgeous, the beautiful dragonfly. Check that out. Um, the canopy needs a scrub, but that's easy enough. Um, I love the dragonfly. I'm a big fan of it. Um, in fact, um, by the time this video goes up, I believe you will see uh, my love for the dragonfly in an upcoming video. This is, oh, I know what this is. It's the Slugger. The Slugger, a great vehicle. A, a great vehicle. Um, yes, one of the very rare G.I. Joe vehicles with paint. It had paint applications on it. Um, that is so cool. I am trying to be really careful with this stuff and not have all of the bits go everywhere like like that. I'm, I'm, I'm really doing my best to respect your stuff and not lose any. Okay, I think we have reached the bottom. Yes. Uh, and then there is whatever this is. Let's see. And this is, ah, okay, okay, this, these are parts for the dragonfly. So these are parts to be, uh, to be repaired So for the dragonfly. Let's keep these in here. Um, so thank you for this, uh, and thank you to your son. These are awesome, and uh, I know I only have so much time right now to go through these, through these but this is going to be a lot of fun. I will spend some extra time going through these. Super cool box. Thank you very much. I think I have everything safely put away so nothing will break. Next, you last. You last. Uh, we have a bar, a box here from Mark G. Fit and Fire. So, uh, let's see. Um, have that glasses handy in case I need them because we do have a letter. Let's check the letter. Um, it's, uh, let me read this first. Uh, time out, let me read this. Oh, it says right at the first line, uh, you're more than welcome to read this um, on your li uh, unboxing live stream. So let's go ahead and read it. It says, I've been following you for over three years and really enjoy all the videos. Thank you very much. Uh, the little historical and contextual details has increased the love I always had for G.I. Joe. Cool, thank you. Um, I once was a patron, uh, Patreon member, but decided no longer support their platform. Do you have other ways you could financially support your channel? I do. There should be some links. There, there'll be some links. Um, uh, anyways, I was at Target the other day and saw this Cobra Commander. I immediately thought you could use this for Class of Fridays. I know you have done a Snake Supreme, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. Uh, however, I would love your thoughts and opinions on the regular version. Uh, from one YouTuber to another, I am humbled by your steadfast support of your channel. 
uh, your fans and your passion for G.I. Joe. Watching you really reminds me of the days I got uh, to buy or unbox a new toy. Keep up the good work. P.S. If I, um, you already have this Cobra Commander, please feel free to use it as a prize for a giveaway or any other money you wish. Uh, thanks, Mark G. Fit and Fire. Thank you, Mark. That's awesome. So now I know what's in here. So now I'll show you what's in here. Again, making sure I didn't leave anything in the bottom of the box. I've made that mistake before. Um, so, okay. So this should be then our old friend, Cobra Commander. So yeah, you're right. I haven't uh, done this for Class of Fridays, and I should. I should. I've done the deluxe version, but not the regular version. So yeah, I, I will use this specifically for that purpose. Uh, and thank you for this. And thank you for all, all your support. Um, you, you can support the channel just by being around. Uh, I'm just happy to have you here. Uh, it's cool to have you know additional support if you can do it. But honestly, I'm just happy to have you around, and I appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate everyone who has sent stuff. Uh, it's really super awesome. So thank you for this, Fit and Fire. Uh, and I'm going to keep this as well. And I will uh, open that guy up and look at it in the near future. Let's look at this one. This one is from, um, this is from Amazon. I don't know who sent it. It was specifically sent to me. Uh, I cut it open and there's a box of some kind inside. And, ah, a bamboo stand, hands-free stand for hardcovers, paper. Okay, I, I think I know what you're getting at here. Um, it is, oh, it's not tape. It has a, yeah, okay, okay, dig that. No, this is, this, the, no, this is, this will be useful. Oh, sorry. Um, I can, I can use this for a number of things. I have no idea who sent this. Yeah, but check that out. No, this is, uh, this is practical. This is very practical thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for this. This is, that's cool. That's very thoughtful. That's very thoughtful. Uh, thank you very much. And um, I can actually think of several things I can use this for right now. So uh, thanks to whoever sent this. Uh, and it's very much appreciated. The next one is from Chris Piers. Chris Piers from the YouTube show Comic Tropes. Not the last one. Your last. Um, so this is... I've just cut this end open. So I am looking... Peeking at it now. And... Oh... By peeking at it, I know what it is. Uh, so I think it goes this way. Uh, let's see. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the YouTube show Comic Tropes, it's a big channel, much bigger than mine. Really great stuff. And Chris has been a, a really good friend over the last several years. So thank you, Chris, for this, but thank you for everything you do. And this is not something I had before. This is... G.I. Joe Mission Cobra HQ game. It's a Milton Bradley game. I am incredibly curious about this. Um, it is taped, and I don't know if I should open it now. I'll just I'll just peek in. I'll just peek in. Now this is something. Uh, this is something that we could maybe play on a live stream, possibly. I'll have to check the rules and see if that's something that can be done uh dig, dig the the 90s artwork though check out that uh or wait is this 90s maybe this is post 90s where's the copyright on it uh 2002 check out this 2002 this early 2000s artwork dig that um so yeah we've got yeah we've got the pieces we've got the pieces We've got the dice, the nice dice, uh, and we've got the board. Oh, and there, and uh, there is a copy of uh, the G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures issue number two. I do have issue, oh, actually I have issue number one right here. Um, and I have been wanting to follow the uh, the G.I. Joe uh, Saturday Morning Adventures series based on the animated series. Uh, and uh, But my local comic shop doesn't carry it. So uh, Chris has been very helpful uh, by sending 
hard copies. So that is great. Thank you very much, Chris. But mostly, thank you for uh, your support. Thank you for your friendship. Uh, you've been a really great guy, and I can't express how much I appreciate uh, everything you've done. So thank you. Thank you for this. I'm afraid that means there's only one left. It's time for this one. All right, I got the scissors because this envelope is kind of... Uh, thick and it might be too thick to cut through with the knife. Um, so uh, this is from Smell My Thongs. Obviously some kind of Weisenheimer sent this to me and it even has some, some lacy bits dangling out. Very funny, very funny. And, uh, and you probably thought I was going to be embarrassed. No, I won't be embarrassed. What I am prepared to be is disappointed because there's no way you checked my size before you sent this. And if I can't wear it, what good is it to me? But let's see. Let's see. Snipping that open. Um, careful not to cut any of the contents inside. And let's see. There's uh, um, Uh, there, there seems to not be any thongs in here. So what did I say? What did I say? I'm prepared for disappointment. Um, look, it's a card. And whatever this is, it's a sticker. Uh, the ultimate prank. The ultimate prank. Um, maybe. Maybe. It's kind of a tall... It's a sticker. Um, maybe... Like that. Where am I going to put... You know, maybe... I think that would fit on the surfboard. Okay, that would fit on the sur no oh, no I'm not gonna put it on the surfboard um, and um, and candy grape flavored uh, and a card um, uh, yes um, so uh, vehicle alert notice uh, vehicle owner Elon Musk um, look at that it's from John Doe uh, very courageous of you to put your name on there um, and uh, yeah. So, um, this is helpful. It's time-sensitive. Uh, notification deadline in the year 2069. 69. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, uh, yes, I, this prank was ordered at smellmythongs.com. Roses are red, violets are blue. I think you're weird, and now the postman does too. All right. So that's a fine way to end this unboxing video. So thank you all for the kind words and the, the gifts and the package and the stuff. This is really nice of you. Uh, sometimes I need to remind myself that, you know, we are all in this together and this really helps me keep that in mind. I, I forget that sometimes. I shouldn't, but I do. And this, this makes a big difference to me. So. Uh, thank you, and y you all make a, a difference to me, whether you send something or not. Just being here uh, makes a, a significant impact on my life. So thank you, uh, thank you for that, and um, yeah, we will we will do this again ne next month if I get anything. Once again, PO box is on your screen right now. Feel free to send something if. If you don't want to send anything, or if you're in any way unsure that I'm the person you would want to have those things, don't send anything. You don't ever have to feel like you should send something, like you have to send something. Never feel obligated. Uh, but if you do, I will open it like this. I will put it in a video, and I will express my thanks and appreciation. So thank you, everyone, and um, I'll see you soon with uh, Vintage G.I. Joe Toy Reviews. Until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.